What's up, Alchemy Energy? It's your boy Chris coming at you live, as always, from the Man Cave. It's been a while since you guys have seen me from here, from this location. Uh, haven't had much time to do videos, really, and um, which is why when I did have uh, the time to actually get out and go do something, I made sure I spent the time with my boys, made sure I spent the time with some friends during this whole pandemic, during this whole thing, and made sure I got out, did some shit, go for some records, chronicled the adventure, brought it to you in the last two parts of the... Uh, RSD weekend trip video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, all right, and continue to enjoy it. If you haven't seen it, then you know, please. Or never take a look at it. Uh, but anyway, most of you ain't doing shit anyway. I mean, let's just be. Come on. It's a pandemic going on. It's Labor Day weekend. Y'all ain't doing nothing. Shoot on over and take a look at those two videos. I'm very proud of them. Me and the boys had a great time. Um, so I've got a lot of uh, new additions to the collection. Since the last time I did a recent finds video, or since the last time I even talked to you guys from the man cave. So, uh, I'm going to basically end up splitting this in two. So, cheers to you guys. Happy Labor Day. First up, first things first. I showed this in another video. Um, a gift from this uh, same person in a, in a video. Eh, it's called a few months ago. I don't know. Uh, but, uh, 1441 engraving. I located in Georgia, uh, my, my, my boy Chris uh, had sent me a silver record weight, and uh, you know it's got Train and Monk on it, and uh, Tunes from the Man Cave thing. Your boy Chris, I, I love it, and I was just so proud of it, so happy for it. But he decided that I needed the black one too, because that one's chrome, which he says I'm the only one who's been gifted a chrome one. Uh, he decided I needed the black one too, so he sent me one. And uh, I told him my favorite album cover of all time was uh, No Room for Squares by Hank Mobley. And uh, so he threw it on there. It tunes from the Man Cave, kind of like logo type thing. I might see if I can get him to like make that like. Hell, I'm okay with that as an official logo, to be completely honest with you, even though I wouldn't mind getting the, uh, the picture that all jumps out at you guys in the background uh, of my profile. And, uh, of course, he had to feel some uh, lines, but uh, I had him throw my, my, my name, my daughter's name, my wife's name. And until next time, until next video, keep dropping the needle. I love it. Uh, I interchange them out now, every record. If I take one record off with the, with the chrome one on, I switch it off with the black. I love them. So, thank you, Chris, for 1441 grade. Thank you. I highly recommend you guys. Hey, Christmas, believe it or not... Uh, believe it or not, uh, Christmas is coming up in the next couple of months, and he'll do a, a custom record wait for you. I believe, Chris, you can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong about this, but $39.99. Custom record wait for a friend or family member. I'm actually getting ready to order up several for friends, so uh, I highly recommend them. Uh, nothing says I love you like a custom record wait, especially when they look like that. Damn it, man. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, bro, wherever you are. Hope you're watching. Well, without further ado, let's get to it, because i got a lot to show. And uh, I'm, like I said, I'm having to divide this into two videos. So first things first. It's uh, Last Night When We Were Young, Art Farmer with the Quincy Jones Orchestra. I'm not usually big on orchestral jazz records, but I love Art Farmer. So I went ahead and swing at that one, especially for a great price. Next up. Uh, basically, by the way, guys, stay tuned to the end. You guys know me. That's where I pack the heat. That's, that's my way of keeping you guys either A, keeping you guys watching, or B, getting you to fast forward to the end, which is probably B. Let's just call it what it is. But anyway. Next up, Mose Allison, Seventh Son. Uh, let's be honest with you, the album cover is not the best, but I love Mose Allison. Uh, great bluesy, jazzy kind of stuff with some vocals in it. He's a very talented guy. I love it. Next up, I, I've never heard this album or heard of the group. Uh, I decided I didn't care. Uh, I love the album cover, and it was also gifted to me by my boy Chris, 1441 engraving. It just flat out gifted to me. Sweet Cream and Other Delights contains the Smash Disco single, I Don't Know What I'd Do. But uh, obviously you guys get that album cover, that reference. Obviously that's a Little, uh, a 
little shout out, if you will, a little homage, if you will, to the uh, Herb Albert and Tijuana Brass, with Cream and Other Delights. I, I prefer this album cover personally. Uh, whether or not I prefer the music, I don't know. I've never actually heard Whipped Cream and Other Delights, even though I had the album in my collection for years. And I'm not really a big disco fan, so I don't even know if I like this one, but I will throw it on just to see what I hear. So, either way about it. Thank you, Chris. Next up. Chuck Wayne, Morning Mist. This is a great record. It's on Prestige. Awesome stuff. Uh, can't help but notice you guys see that that's some hideous ass oh hold on. oh yeah oh yeah hurt so good come on baby make it hurt so good somebody once commented in one of my videos how can you hate shrink wrap it protects the record so well oh my if you're watching and I commented to you way back but get out of here with that nonsense you know what else protects a record so well yeah, they ain't expensive, bro. I'm just saying. There's no knock on anybody that likes straight rap. This shit just drives me crazy. For me, if you're going to open the album, open the album. It's like eating a Big Mac with a wrapper on it. Anyway, um, <laughs> Chuck Wayne, Morning Mist. Uh, Chuck Wayne on guitar, Joe Williams on bass, and Ronnie Bedford on drums. Awesome album, cheap peak, if you will. And I got to say, this one's in spectacular condition. It was because the person who owned it before me took really good care of it. So, cheers and kudos to this person. Happy Labor Day. Next up. Cannonball Adderley, live. That's all you need to know, right? Do you need to know anything else? I don't think so. It's on Capitol. Splat out, great stuff. Uh, our Cannonball Adderley basically uses a Blind Byworthy. If you just see his name on it, you should just buy it, really. Um, it's with the quintet featuring that Adderley on Cornet, so um, it's great. Next up, Thad Jones, Mel Lewis, Consummation. Great album. Blue Note. Blue Note, later years, obviously, Gatefold, uh, which. It's the blue note, it's the blue with the black B. So not the label we all love so much, but still, it's heat, it's great music. That's really what matters at the end of the day. Let's just call it what it is. Next up, trying to get through this relatively quickly. I got a lot of albums to show. Next up, Oliver Nelson, A Dream Deferred. This is two LPs. This is great stuff, guys, and it's on the Flying Dutchman label. I love the Flying Dutchman label. I highly recommend the Flying Dutchman label to anybody who ever asked me about, you know, what's a, a jazz label or whatever. Well, I mean, they didn't do exclusively jazz, but what's a good label that uh, puts out jazz that is a little bit more obscure, flies a little bit more under the radar. Um, so, splat out. I love that label. It's Flying Dutchman. They put out great shit, uh, wonderful stuff, and uh, again, more obscure, flies a little bit further under the radar. It doesn't matter. Uh, produced by Bob Teal, by the way, you know, he used to be affiliated with Impulse. It's so, um, great stuff. I love it. I haven't had actually had a time, I had a chance to throw it on since I got it, but this thing is clean. It's a wonderful album, and I'm just looking very forward to throwing it on. To dropping it on a pot, if you will. Great stuff. Next up, um, one of my favorite albums in the stack, just not one of my favorite pressings in the stack, which is why it's a little further up than what you would expect it to be. Uh, it might as well be Spring by At Quebec with Fred Roach, Milton, and Al Harwood. Uh, if I had an original pressing of this, this would be the last album I showed you. There's no damn doubt about it. Uh, uh, it's a great replication, if you will, the micro groove, the micro groove long playing, you know, you know, it's got the whole original look, but it's, um, you know, it's I think a 2006 or 2007 reissue, but uh, this store in Wilmington, North Carolina called Gravity Records, which you know all these local stores, uh, all these small record stores have been you know kind of hit pretty hard by the whole uh, pandemic and everything. So a lot of what they've been doing has been doing online. And so I just pulled up one day, they were selling some jazz reissues that they had and this was on the list. And I'm like, you know what, 20 bucks to hell with it. You know, I really just want the album. So I bought it and it sounds good. 
It does. And but uh, it'll be gifted to somebody watching this video someday uh, when I get that original, which is probably gonna like seriously cripple my pockets. But you guys know how I am. I'll find ways. I ain't worried about it. Next up. Michael White, The Land of Spirit and Light. It's on Impulse. It's uh, really uh, unsung. Great stuff. It's Michael White, Chris Lasha, Ed Kelly, Bob King, Cecil McBee, and Kenneth Nash. And because it's Impulse, obviously you've got the gatefold here. Uh, a little bit later on the label, but you know it's a little bit later release on the album. It's Michael White's on the violin. Prince Lash is on piccolo flute, alto flute and clarinet, Ed Kelly on piano, Bob King on classical guitar, Susan McBee on bass, Kenny Nash on percussion, vocals by almost everyone involved, including Stanley Nash, Kenny Jenkins, and the ABC Messenger Delivery Man. <laughs> uh, when I read that, I was like, okay, that's funny. But don't buy too many jazz albums to focus on it. But this is a big one, guys. A big one. Uh, Michael White, The Land of Spirit and Light. If you see it, don't do it. Jump on it. Jump on it. Jump on it. All right. Like, seriously. Like, I'm not even kidding. I like, wasn't even using that as like an aside or whatever for you guys to, to. Yeah, no. If you see that shit, you buy it. It's great. Next up is one I just had on my, had on the platter about 30, well, I won't say 30 seconds ago, about 10 minutes ago. Dexter Gordon, A Swing and Affair with Sonny Clark, Butch Warren, Billy Higgins. So, you not an artist, uh, stereo pressing. It's got the blue with the black. Yeah, blue with the black. Sounds awesome. Sounds phenomenal. It's going to hold me over until the day comes, until the glorious day comes when I get my original pressing. And then, you know, you guys know how I can move. We'll see. Uh, maybe a, a contest giveaway, maybe... Uh, sell to one of you guys maybe a, just a gift to one of you guys i mean you know i don't know there are perks to staying my friend <laughs> let's just say that so next up uh one that man uh epic goal of mine to have uh, an original pressing of this one as well as the one that i just showed you by the way but basra by uh, pete LaRocca. it's a uh 19 i think 1990 uh pressing of it so uh unfortunately you know but it does sound absolutely phenomenal so hey can't recommend it enough get a copy of basra by pete LaRocca in your life you won't regret it it's just phenomenal next up uh, this one i'm very happy to add breezing by sunny red with Yusuf Latif, Blue Mitchell, and Barry Harris. How about that little lineup for you? And it's on Jazzland. Very, 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 very happy to secure that. The jacket. Look, look how clean that is, guys. This shit's clean as hell. And it's not a reissue, by the way. It's splat out. I mean, this bitch is clean. It's, it's awesome. Sonny Red, obviously, on alto. Yusuf Latif on tenor. Bob Cranshaw on bass. Blue Mitchell on trumpet. Barry Harris on piano. And Albert Heath on the sticks. This album is freaking killer. It really is. I was so very, very, very happy to, uh, to, to land it. And it's a stereo pressing. Uh, first stereo pressing is just, man, I hadn't been on my table yet, but it's clean and I can't wait. It might actually be the next one that goes on my table. Sign red. Breathing. Next up. All right, cool beans. I got a couple of signed Lonnie. Listen, Smith LPs coming up for you guys. Unfortunately, we're not signed for me, but they were signed for a great friend of me, of mine, of me, great friend of me. A great friend of me uh, recommended me this IPA. No, sorry guys. Don't listen to my ass. Anyway, um, first up, by the way, two great albums. Let's start off with that. Expansions by Lonnie Liston Smith and the Cosmic Echoes. Now you have to look all the way into Lonnie's beanie to find the uh, signature here. But it's to party. <laughs> it's uh, love and joy. Lonnie Liston Smith. But you gotta go way in there. 
but anyway, no big deal. It's um, it's on a uh, Flying Dutchman label again, which I've told you guys uh, how to recommend. You see Flying Dutchman? Uh, you, you just gotta buy it. You got to get it into your life. Uh, just trust me. And this one's uh, this signature on this album, which is an album I wanted forever. Astral Traveling by Lionel Liston Smith and the Cosmic Echoes, is again my personalized to my great friend who hooks me up with so many of these jazz albums, who hooked me up with this one, DJ Parr. Uh, my boy is a great personal friends, actually, with Lonnie. He's worked with him. So he can get his album signed by Lonnie anytime he wants. So because of that, he didn't sweat it. He didn't sweat selling me this one or the one other. It was like, you know, hey, I'll just see him next week and I'll give him a sign. It's like, ah, uh, Awesome. So the next deal that I've got to work out is I've got to send him a Lonnie album and have him personalize it to me. It's the next thing that I want done, but if you guys look close. Nah, my boy, DJ Parr, if I was him, I'd have kept this, but hey, he decided to sell it to me. No worries. Uh, I love it. Thank you. Thanks, man. I mean, if, you're, if you ever see this, I don't know what to say other than you're just an awesome friend. Thank you very much. I would like to have Lonnie customize one to me. Uh, per, excuse me, customize. Personalize one to me. You and me will talk about that. Uh, the next three uh, guys uh, are steps that I took out there uh, for albums, and I have no cover for any of them. <laughs> They're record only, each of the next three, but they are burners. Okay, so... The first, and it's appropriate because today, what is uh today is Sonny Rollins' 90th birthday, and yes, he is still with us. Uh, it's an original mono pressing with the Lexington Avenue, New York City addresses. Uh, it's Volume One on Blue Note, which is an album I just got a couple months ago. That was the second press, but now I've got that record only. And she's a beauty. She looks beautiful. Sure plays even better, splat out, blue note. Uh, guys, if any of you know of anyone who has a Lexington Avenue copy uh, that they want to unload, now what I'm looking for is a good copy, excuse me, a good cover, intact. That's what I'm looking for, a cover, intact. The record can be beat to shit, the record could not be there at all. I don't care. That's what I'm looking for, so I'm asking for your help. Uh, if you see one, please holler at your boy. You can message me right here. You can DM me on Instagram. You can hit me up at tunes from the man cave at gmail.com. Any of those ways would be great. Please. And if you see a price that you think is might be too much for you, just try me. Try me. I really want to pair this Lexington Avenue record with a Lexington Avenue cover. That's what I really want to do. So if you see one, Please, please message me. Um, this beautiful bastard right here needs a home. And once I get this copy in together, the full copy, then I'll probably offload my second pressing over here with the West 47 63rd Street. So, just saying, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Help a brother out. Next up, Sonny Rollins Quartet. Again, happy 90th birthday, Sonny Rollins. That's Sonny Rollins on tenor, obviously. Ray Brand on piano. George Morrow on bass. Max Roach on drums. And this is the uh, album I believe, Workout. I believe way back when he was on Prestige. But, as you can see. Give me a second. <laughs> Splat out, the original, yellow and black. It's the uh, New York City addresses. It's the desired addresses. It's fucking killer. Uh, but, this album. This album. It needs a cover. This is what it has right now. It needs a cover. So for any of you guys, again, if you know somebody who has one, again, the vinyl, pay no matter to the wax. Pay no matter to the wax. The wax doesn't matter. I've got the wax covered. But if you know somebody, see somebody, anybody who can put me in contact with a way to get this album covered up, I'll be forever grateful and forever appreciative and I'll hook you up. I promise you. So thank you guys in advance. Thank you. Next up, one more. It's like DJ Khaled. Another one. 
Uh, next up is uh, Kenny Dorham Jazz Contrast. And for you guys who probably watched, shit, it might have been a video, it might not have been a video. I don't know if this album ever actually made it to a video, but it was uh, um, our original Jazz Classics pressing of uh, of uh, Kenny Dorham's Jazz uh, Contrast. And uh, I had got it at uh, uh, Dylan Noble Records Jazz Soiree uh, a month or two. Shit, I don't know. 2020. We, uh, it just feels like a big glob to me. Nothing, no, no date really means anything. But anyway, I got an original Jazz Classics pressing. Very happy with it. Sounded phenomenal. Loved it. Listened to it one time and then got an opportunity to have an original mono pressing. To have an original mono pressing, but just the album. But what the album is, is the album is damn near, near mint. So on good faith, I went ahead and I just sold my OJC copy that I had, full cover and everything like that, to a friend. And now I'm just going to set out, and my goal is to find a copy for this. It's Kenny Dorn with Sonny Rollins, big thing. <laughs> Kenny Dorn with Sonny Rollins, Jazz Contrast. If any of you guys can put me in contact with someone who has a cover at a good price. Now, the cover can come with the record, but, you know, if the cover comes with the record, the record's going to have to be beat to shit for the price to be good. But just try me. Don't look at a price and be like, eh, now that's too much. Just try me. I promise. I'm very, very anxious to get these copies completed. So please, help a brother out. Kenny Dorm with Sonny Rollins. Jazz Contrast. Please. And as you guys can tell, these are all burners that would have been complete copies. Then they're at the tail end of any video. Because these are just a, these are these are these are freaking classics, but because they're not complete copies, they're still worth the tail end of the video. <laughs> because they're just that good. Next up, I have a two final LPs, one artist, and then I'm gonna let you guys go on with your day. Unless you choose to watch more tunes from the Man Cave videos, in which case. Like Drake songs are always hits. Anyway, um, <laughs> next up is an album I had a solid pressing of, 1980 pressing of, for a couple years. But uh, guess what? Uh, you guys know how I like it. Well, it's an original stereo pressing of Jackie McLean's It's Time. Splat out. Perfect. Charles Oliver, Herbie Hancock, Cecil McVie, and Roy Haynes. This album is phenomenal. It's one of my favorite Reed Miles covers. I absolutely love it. I've been on a really, 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 really high point for, for, for Jackie McLean this year. Uh, I love him. He's one of my favorites, period. And uh, I've added original presence to so much of his work this year, and I couldn't be happier about it. So I do not need a cover for this one. I've got one. Thanks, guys. And the final one, one final note, one of the cleanest blue notes original Blue Notes in my, in my collection officially as of the moment it arrived and I knew it as soon as I bought it is uh, Jackie McLean's Let Freedom Ring it's original stereo pressing as you guys can see oh my god clean whistle clean no splits no seams no problems beautiful copy it's uh, Jackie on alto Walter Davis on piano Herbie Lewis on bass Billy Higgins on the sticks Guys, the only thing, the only imperfection at all is somebody who owned it once upon a time wrote their name up here in the corner. But you really have to look to find that. I ain't mad. So, point is, it's great. I couldn't be happier with it. Uh, the only way I could be happier with it is to get rid of that writing. But to be honest with you, it's an original stereo pressing of Jackie McLean's Let Freedom Ring in damn near, near mint condition. I've got no complaints. So, because, like I said, I've acquired so many records lately that I ended up having to split this recent of, uh, files, if you will, into uh, two uh, video, uh, videos. This is going to be the end of part one of this video. I hope you guys are all having a great, I hope you guys all had great RSD weekends, and I hope you guys are having a great Labor Day weekend. And until next time, until next video, which shit might come later tonight, I don't know. Keep dropping that music, you guys. Do it. Mm.
<laughs> yeah, it's that. Mm -hmm.